Hello, 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 ladies and gents, and welcome back to another Sony Sesh. I hope you are all well. And today, well, it's going to be something a little bit special, um, similar to the World Test Championship, which was the previous sesh. It'll be over two days. The sesh will be going on today and tomorrow is Wimbledon 2021. So the first time I'll be going to Wimbledon. I've already been to the ATP World Tour finals when they were held in London. But now it's the big one, it's Wimbledon. Obviously last year, Wimbledon did not take place because of the little old virus called Corona. But this year, it's gonna be primed to be a fantastic and fascinating championship. So I'll be going to day one, which is tomorrow. It's on the Monday. I'll be traveling down today, which is on the Sunday. Stay over and then go to the championships on Monday. And what can I say? I mean, I've been watching tennis since I was a kid. The first proper match I'd say I watched wasn't actually either the famous 2008 final between Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer, but more so the 2004 Women's Championship final between Maria Sharapova and Serena Williams. And it's really odd because that was the first tennis match I ever watched when I was the uh, paltry age of six. But I uh, fully got into tennis uh, after watching the 2008 final between obviously Rafa since then I've always loved watching tennis playing tennis obviously right now it's a bit difficult with my fingers but yeah it's been brilliant so overall I love tennis so I'm looking forward to obviously visiting Wimbledon and showcasing to you guys what it's all about but for now I need to get changed I need to make my way to the train station meet my friend and then from there go down to London and we'll go from there for now see you on the other side so we've arrived at Solihull train station we're waiting for the train obviously to London Marylebone and the gentleman who's going to be on this sesh is this Raj, guy. It's Rajan. So obviously this guy, I always play him at tennis, and he always tends to beat me. But then again, this year's a bit been a bit. Mate, different. You, mate, you lost. The, <laughs> he's lost the belly, and now he's yeah. uh, got the Ronaldo fitness. How, how, how are you feeling then about I'm, Wimbledon? I'm looking forward to it, man. Couldn't get sent a court tickets, but you know. You know, we're going to try and get sent a court tickets because there is a slight opportunity. Oh. You reckon we could get them generally released or? No, I don't. I think it's very hard, especially this year because of COVID. Yeah. But listen, we're looking forward to the sesh. It's going to be a big sesh. Wimbledon, we're gassed. We're, we're excited as well to see all these players. So we've arrived at London Marlebone. We're going to head to the gaff. But yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Let's go. So we've got here. He's yeah, all prepped. Here we go. Did you do that takeaway? Absolutely do that. Like MTV crib, yeah. Oh, jeez, this is nice. Oh mate, this is cushy. Very cushy. Look at this. This is beautiful. In central London, can't go wrong. We're literally staying here because of Wimbledon. I guess me and Raj are going to be. No, we're not going to be in there. But... Oh, <laughs> well, you said something. Else. No, <laughs> cheeky bathroom ensuite. But no, look at it. It's beautiful. Look at the view. It's cheeky. Yeah, the weather's not great. This is London. Like we've said, this is England. Not like the film, but yeah. Obviously, we're going to tuck into our food, but we'll see you on the other side. So yeah, morning, ladies and gents. The weather is stupendous, in the words of Chris Eubank, see. But yeah, the weather's looking all right. Yeah, fine, it's not absolutely boiling, but you know, it's better than yesterday, because obviously yesterday was raining and it was quite bad. But yeah, we're looking forward, obviously, to uh, see a bit of tennis. Obviously, we'll see if the pims are gonna be out, you know, strawberries and cream and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, the weather's looking all right. Obviously, we're gonna leave the hotel shortly, get to Bayswater, the tube station, which is like a two minute walk from where we are, get the district line, to Southfields, and then from there, walk to Wimbledon. But for now, guys, I need to get changed. I won't be wearing anything special. You know, like normally I might show you what jersey I'm wearing, but today I'm just wearing a shirt and some jeans. And yeah, we're gonna get to Wimbledon from there, cause uh, yeah, it's not really like I can wear, uh, you know, a Nike, or a Wilson t-shirt or polo because uh, then they'll be thinking I'm playing, which I'm not. But yeah, see you on the other side. Finally, we've got through, look at this. Come on. Oh, we did get yeah. stopped, but look, caught one there. It's looking really nice. Oh, I think we're just gonna get searched and then uh, we're in, folks. <laughs> we're, ne we're nearly done it, uh, we're nearly done it. So folks, I had to obviously get something from Wimbledon shop because I have an Amex. I've got some Amex benefits, which is the radio. And apparently we can get a VIP suite as well. But yeah, and then of course, Raj. There he is. Come on guys. <laughs> we bought a program as well, of course, but yeah. And this is Henman Hill. Iconic scenes, this is. Mad. 
And men hell yeah. I thought you, it looks smaller in person, don't you think? It does, but... Yeah, it still looks like fun. Still big, still very lush. But yeah, we're just going to take a walk around the grounds and then try and find Probably somewhere to sit. Port, yeah. yeah. I think Murray came here when he won his championship and you think he held it aloft, maybe potentially there. Again, don't quote me. No, I think it was there. It came out there. This, I think it was centre court, southwest hall. You think Clay's getting cancelled or? Uh, if it carries on like this, potentially, but. So then, yeah, they have all the other courts here as well. So we've got options. We've got a lot of options, for sure. And I think that's where the entrance is. There's a pagola cafe and then Centre court is vast, I must say. Vast. But, uh, I think you're a bit still shocked, aren't you? I'm shocked, mate. Like, we we finally made it. So here's like a member's baseline restaurant. It's quite nice. Overseeing another court. Not sure what court this is, but could potentially be sit here, sitting here. Yeah. It's quite cushy to be fair, though. Quite nice. Yeah. There's a nice little decking here. You can get some drink, which I think Roger might get some Pims. C customary Wimbledon. <laughs> yeah, it was Punjabi as well, but customary Wimbledon drink, so yeah. But yeah, it's a vibe to be fair, because Court 12 literally just behind over there. Unless so you can get some drink here, so nice little setting to be fair. It's nice. So just received an announcement on the referee's office that play won't start on the outside courts until 1 p.m. But listen, we're hungry, we need some tea, we need some coffee, potentially some pims. So yeah, get into the Wimbledon spirit. I want to find the strawberries and cream, mate. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. Don't even know whether it's the strawberries and cream, but listen, having a good time, it's a good vibe. So we're in the queue, waiting to get into the Amex lounge. And this is the perks of an Amex, folks. So if you go on Amex, you come to Wimbledon, you're sorted, pretty much. So we've made it into the Amex Lounge, folks. It's really nice in here. We're gonna get some, you know, nice drinks, some food, enjoy the view. And then, yeah, hopefully see some tennis after this, so yeah. So, I mean, we've got a few snacks. We're gonna eat now. But, yeah, like I said, people, just make sure you get in an Amex, because yeah, you get a few freebies as well. You get your drinks, which are over here. Uh, and then, yeah, a few snacks as well, so it's good. Yeah, we're gonna eat up and cheers, hopefully sauce. see a game as well. I got no water, I got nothing in my in my cup, but yeah, cheers. And yeah, we'll see on the other side. Right, because the weather is still a bit iffy, we've resorted to watching Djokovic's game against Jack Draper, which is on centre court in the Amex Lounge, which is right here. What a set. And as it stands right now, Djokovic is about to lose the first set, which is crazy because you never think that the odds on favour probably to win the championship is about to lose the first set of the championships in the first round but hey ho this is Wimbledon but yeah hopefully the weather clears up soon enough and we'll be able to you know see some tennis and show you guys what it's all about at Wimbledon but yeah see you on the other side So walk around to the other side, you've got strawberries and cream over there, you can get some more food from here. This is near Centre Court to be fair, you can get some more food over in there as well. But yeah, there's uh, a lot of food options, you can get pizza, chips, I mean, Raj, what are you feeling, son? You're going to have to get those strawberries and cream, mate. <laughs> You're going to have to. Yeah, then uh, we'll go from there. So we've decided, we've seen the museum, we're going to head into the museum, see what it's saying in there, so yeah.
nice little feature they've got in the museum where you can watch any final. So obviously we've gone for the 2008 final between Nadal and Fedra. What a shot that was from Rafa. He won, he wins it off this one. Fedra, full hand, yeah. It's the end of the era. <laughs> 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 so yes great news obviously you just heard the announcement the games are about to begin so we're going to find a court hopefully watch some tennis so yeah let's go find a court so we decided to stick to court four because the big serving south african kevin anderson is on this court so it ought to be a good game to be fair so uh yeah Finally made it, boys. Finally made it, finally made it. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin! I've got Kevin Anderson to win this, personally. I think he's going to win in four sets. Let's go. First serve of the day. Challenged it already. Oh, ace! We were way to start. That looked okay. Good get. Well played. Oh, well played. That was good play, wasn't it, son? Shot. Vamos, Tomas! Yeah, gone for a tie break, 6 6 first set. Kevin's playing more aggressive tennis, so I fancy Kev to win the tie break. Again, with risk comes reward, also potential failure. So let's see. Kick serve out wide. Oh, Jeep. Well played. 
Oh, that's the problem with, high, with, with, with aggressive shots. You're trying to go deep in the baseline, but it's just, it's, it's tough, it's tough. So currently in the game, Tomas won the first set, 7-6 on tie break. Currently in the second set, Kevin Anderson has broken. So shaping up to be a good match. Really good shot. Vamos. Pushing the game so far, Raj. Yeah, good game. I can, uh... no, I, think okay, I reckon what's a lot. He's going to get a break. It's a good hold though from uh, Marcelo. And even the game before was a key hold because he would have been potentially 4-1. Maybe even. Vamos. Ma, vamos. I don't even know why I'm saying Vamos. I don't support either player. It's just uh, you got to back. Sometimes you got to back the player who's not getting as much support. You know, you got to. You know, it's all about morale and helping somebody else. Oh, it's quite interesting. 100%. So you know, Kevin Anderson's uh, three to up in second set. So Kevin Anderson, five four up. So then for this set, second set, it's played well. Be fair. Three set points, Kevin Anderson. He's served amazing. He's served amazing. He can't, he can't do anything about it. So, Carl, Kevin Anderson has broken Marcelo again. So, in the third set, it's 3 2 to Kevin. And I just think, when we were just talking, we were just like, Marcelo tends to lose his head a little bit. I think Kevin shows that you know, he's been here, done it before. And in terms of like, the duration of this game, my prediction is if. Kevin Anderson wins a third set, this will be done in four sets, so three sets to one to Kevin. If Marcelo obviously wins a third set, then I think it's going to five sets. But it makes me see him, but let's see what happens now. He's just serving beautifully. That's the problem when you've got a big server like Kevin. He always hits the lines, always gets his first serve percentage high because he gets them in. Serve and volley, beautiful. Well played. Great serve. Oh! Vamos! What a shot that was. Beautiful passing shot, yeah. Great shot. He's got a chance here to break him. So we're in the tie break. Fourth set. It's tense. Kevin Anderson has much point. Can't really see it, but if we can see if it lands in or not. I think the game, mate. Really good, man. Really good. I just say, I was like, whoever wins the third set, if it's Kevin Anderson wins, it'll be a four setter. So, that was a great game. Four setter, first ever, obviously, game at Wimbledon. The ground pass has been cheeky, though. I mean, obviously, we've seen basically the whole of Wimbledon. And now we're going to just relax on Henman Hill and see uh, Andy Murray because uh, he is currently playing. But yeah. So, yeah, folks, here we are, Henman Hill. Got a nice little view. So you're watching the centre court match between Murray and Bashvili, which is on, obviously, they're playing over there in centre court. But this, obviously, is court one, and the game is on the big screen. But yeah, mate, it's Henman Hill. Nice way to end the day. Yeah, nice, nice, nice vibes, mate. Nice vibes, beautiful vibes. Beautiful. Yeah.
2-0. What an enjoyable day it's been, people. Raj is just, he's gassed. Mate, I'm gassed, man. Once Still can't get over it. But once in a lifetime, we'll be here again, like I said. Yeah, I was saying on, yeah, like I was reflecting on Henman Hill about the day itself, but we will be here again. And yeah, I mean, like I said, fine. We didn't get to the showpiece tours, but that's not the point. The point is you're here to have a good time, experience Wimbledon, because that's what Wimbledon is all about, is the experience. And like I said, I will be here again. So yeah, for now, it might be goodbye, but we will, we will be here again. And the point is, now, now we know Now we know what it's like. Now we know what it's like, because this is my first time. And now obviously we're just exiting the gates that we arrived in. It's been a long day. And obviously we're gonna go back to Southfield, from there to Bayswater. Then there, get the surf, Raj is gonna go back home. I'm gonna go back to And then, uh, it's weird because normally you see me getting the train back to home and then I end the vlog there, but this vlog is ending in London because boy, have I got something special lined up for you. But for now guys, see you on the other side. So folks, we were arrived back at the Airbnb slash hotel, whatever it's called. Obviously, what a day it's been. I'm absolutely knackered, it's been an early start. But obviously, had the great hospitality um, it's provided. And yeah, it's been a great experience at Wimbledon. Definitely go there again. Obviously Rajan, he's gone now to uh, back home on the train. So I'll see him another time, probably give him a game of tennis at some point. But yeah, the sesh for today ends here because tomorrow is the big one. It's a big sesh. And obviously that's in the next signing sesh, but this sesh is going to end here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. For now, peace.